clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. You guys have a ton of tag teams, great tag teams in AEW. And I know that you guys, obviously, as tag team wrestlers, as, as current champions, and as executive vice presidents are integral in, in that division. Do you ever look at yourself and say, does it ever become a problem to have too many great tag teams? <laughs> uh, yeah, You know what? It's funny you say that, but I think you're right because you it's hard to uh, keep every tag team involved in like a storyline it's almost impossible so at some points a great tag team will unfortunately be on the sidelines and not doing uh much so like when you have such a great division like this you'll run into that problem more often than not which sucks because you, you can't have a whole show of just tag matches you know what i mean so uh, I, but you know what I think what's cool is I think the wrestlers get that, the, the tag teams understand that and they know their role and they'll, they'll, uh, they'll perform when they, they have to like, like TH2 is a good example that they hadn't done much, uh, in the previous year. Uh, and we told them, Hey, we're going to do a little run with you guys. And they brought it. And I felt like our tag match that we had with them last Wednesday was so good. Uh, and, uh, they, they had been on the sidelines for a while, so I was so happy that we got to have them on TV and uh, show the world what they could do. Yeah, like every team, including us, for a long time, we would come off the bench, basically, because we've only got a two-hour show. And, you know, sometimes that means we can only have, you know, one, if we're lucky, two tag matches on a show, and we got a staff division. So it's tough, but we're so blessed to have these, these guys, this talented group of guys, because like Nick said, like, you know, we call them in for, Hey, you're, you guys are needed this Wednesday. And they always show up every one of them. And they'll give you a different style of tag match uh, that you need. And very few times has, you know, someone crapped the bed. Like it just doesn't really happen. That's how, that's when you know, you have a really great roster, a really great tag division. And I, I don't know, man, I, I, I don't remember a division being this talented man, what I, people compare it to. I know that there was like the, the all Japan pro wrestling nineties tag division. was really, it's really kind of one of those things that people talk about still. I, I would compare ours to that or, or the other era was obviously the, you know, the TLC era with edge and Christian, the Dudleys and the Hardys. Like I, I feel like we're, we're almost at another one of these Renaissance where we have these, this, this unbelievable division that people 20 years from now are going to look back and be like, Holy crap. Like, did we not realize what the AEW was giving us every week? Look at this division they had, you know. And, and again, it, 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 we take great pride in it because it was something that Nick and I said from the very beginning when, when Tony Khan approached us about doing this project. We said, if we're going to do it, we want to have a great tag division. And, you know, to his credit, he's, he's let us do just that. And I, I couldn't be happier with the, the team that we've uh, put together. Yeah, I can't think of a, a tag team division that has more incredible tag teams in it than AEW has. Before hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.